Hello, good morning, everybody. It is 5.55, 555 on the clock. I'm going to do you guys reading. And hopefully, you guys get some messages this morning. Oh, these are my blank cards. Ain't that funny? I must have mixed the blank ones. They belong over here. I hope I got all of them. I think they all mixed up in here. Here goes some more black ones. Mm, I'm gonna make some more cards. Okay. Life insurance. This means someone needs to get life insurance. Either life insurance on the whole family, life insurance uh, for your children, life insurance for your parents. You need some life insurance. If you don't know much about life insurance, if you have elderly people in your family, um, take out a life insurance policy for them. Um, you'll thank me later. Take out a life insurance policy. I never thought anyone could ever make me smile, laugh, and capture my heart as fast as you have. So you caught somebody's attention. You caught somebody's heart. Um, they smile, they laugh, they're, you love everything about this person. This person is your peace. This person is your joy. Um, this person makes you smile. This person have a beautiful heart and they are attracted to you and you are attracted to them. This person is going to be giving you flowers. Valentine's Day coming up. This Monday, that's the day I start class. So flowers is one of your gifts. One of you guys gonna be receiving flowers for Valentine's Day or maybe before Valentine's Day. Maybe it's somebody's birthday and they receiving flowers. This is Aquarius month. Might do Aquarius reading after this too, being that I'm thinking about it. Um, faithfulness, forsake you, bind them around your neck, write them on a tablet of your heart. So faithfulness and love, bind it around your neck and write it in the heart, on your heart. So that way you'll always remember to be faithfulness, keep the faithfulness and keep the love. This keep coming out. No job. No job. Either someone is looking for work like myself, but I'm not looking for work anymore because I have credentials. So what I mean by credentials, meaning whatever job I go to, most likely I'm hired on the spot because of the type of work I do. I drive buses. So whatever job I go to when it comes to driving, healthcare, security, um, what else I have under my belt? Um, I have a child care provider, but like forced to care. Someone holding a secret. So someone is holding a secret. Someone is telling you lies. Someone probably ain't telling you that they not working. They don't have a job. You know, that's only. Oh, excuse me, guys. Someone holding a secret and it could be no job. That's what I'm saying. Could be they saying they don't have no job. The gift of love. This person have love in their heart for you. And this is a gift from the universe. All right. My luck is so bad. If I brought a cemetery, people would stop dying.
excuse me. I was like, mm. like this woke up and the mucus is kicking my ass. Snakes around you. Someone is a snake. Someone holding secrets. Someone is a snake around you. Someone could be in your grass. Someone could be at your door, around your house. Snakes usually mean around your house. Be strong, be faithful, be fearless, be beautiful and believe that anything is possible when you have the right people there to support you. That's a fact. True love has a habit of coming back, definitely. True love have a habit of coming back. Oh, mm, good thing my own light didn't go off. All right, let's see what the angels have to say, Virgo. Don't want to keep you guys that long today. So, messages. Someone needs to get life insurance. Someone bringing you flowers. Somebody holding a secret back. And somebody got the gift of love. True love has the habit of coming back. Something coming back. That once was. Watch out for the snakes around your house. Okay. Let's watch out for these snakes. Let's see. The universe wants you to calm love and faithfulness to your heart. I'm not going to um, read the definitions to these cards today. I'm just going to give you what they mean. Okay. You have to make a choice. You're not making a choice. You're confused. You're in a delusional state. You don't know which way to go. You have too many options. All right. And you stay. You, you don't know which way to go. You procrastinate. You're overanalyzing a situation. You need to get clarity and make something happen and start moving forward. You're walking out. You're leaving eight cups behind you. You're leaving. You're gone. You done took your dog. You done took one cup with you. <laughs> You're gone. So you left seven cups behind. The need to move on. You need to move on. You leave it home. You releasing yourself. You in spiritual transformation. Heading towards the Ten of Cups. Or you could be leaving the Ten of Cups. Let's see. Awaken. You awaken. You're at your charitable action. You give to giving back. You had to temporarily pause for reflection on your inside. Once you realize the insight, you was like, oh, hell no. You begin to awaken. You embrace your, your own uniqueness. Now, the queen of swords, this is a bad bitch. You know, queen of swords, though, she's single. She's the divorce. This woman here ain't no joke. She's brilliant. She's experienced. She's judgmental. She released situations or people that no longer serve her. Four of Swords. Insight that comes from meditation. So the Four of Swords is like you meditating. You're resting. You're thinking. You're getting your thoughts together. You need to take a vacation. Allow yourself more time before making a decision. Mental exhaustion. Get more sleep is the message. You are the mental distortion, exhaustion, excuse me, not distortion, X, E, X, exhaustion. To a cup, falling in love with people you love. Don't give up. You're exchanging gifts, ending challenges. You're forgiving this person for everything they did to you. So you got the Ten of Pentacles. Let's put this Queen of Swords over here. This is a family, a couple, Ten Cups. This is somebody walking away. 
confused, procrastinating, not knowing what to do. Somebody going in med meditation and somebody is at the awakening. They give in to people. They are reflecting on insights and they are awakening. The moon card. The moon card is secrets, lies, taking risks at something. So you're listening to your intuition and paying attention to signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry. Let go of fear. Revelation that will make everything clear. A love letter. A new home. You're going to experience a relationship, a romantic relationship, or a deep friendship. You're going to have a deep friendship with someone. Could be this person that's bringing you flowers. You understand? But if it's the, and it could be the person that's got the gift of love. Love have the habit of coming back. And then let not stand fast, love and fear, um, faithfulness. So that's about. All the cards. Let me see. What's this? Okay. Someone holding a secret. And then the moon card. Someone holding a secret. Double confirmation. Someone lying to you. Someone is going to deceive you with something. They're going to deceive you. And you're going to end up walking away from this person that's deceiving you. And it could be this queen of swords that's cutting you off. And now you have no choice but to move on. Because she done cut you off. She want a divorce. She don't want that. Ten of cups. She don't want the two of cups. She done been into meditation. She have awakened. The secrets and the lies has come out. She releasing your ass. She's starting, she's getting a new home, moving out, or he's moving out into a new home. And too many options. Either this queen caught somebody stepping out with too many options, and this person have to move, they have to leave. They're no longer at the Ten of Cups. They're at the Eight of Cups now, leave it. They're at the Seven of Cups. All this is water, energy. Water energy and the swords is an air. Air. The four of wands is fire energy. Sending gratitude to the divine and the angels for peace and prosperity. Peace and commitment in your personal life. Thank the gods for the peace. A thief is coming. Seven of swords. A loss of peace of mind or a personal freedom. Embrace, embrace, embarrassing secrets came out. So some embarrassing secrets coming out. This person is running away from the lies and the secrets. This person is giving, as you can see, this person is giving out to unfortunate people, people that's less fortunate. This person um, know that the good that they, they dish out comes back. And they know that true love has a habit of coming back. A new area of studies the page of pentacles scholarship cheerful dependent dependable and you could be um, uh, um receiving an excellent opportunity has presented itself happy news the world card you have the whole world in your hand you got the itty bitty children in your hand I got the whole world in my hand. That's the energy I got. The gospel. A brilliant success. 
a time of joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment, freedom to do whatever you want. Be proud of yourself. A windfall of abundancy coming your way. You could be purchasing a new home. Somewhere this money is going to come out of nowhere for you. So, continue to meditate. And this Queen of Swords is divorced, so let me know that. She cut out all the fuckery. She cut out the Ten of Cups. She cut out the Two of Cups. She noticed that it was some snakes around her house. And you got to be strong, be fearless, and be beautiful, and believe when anything is possible, when you have the right people there to support you. So anything is possible when you got the right people. Because when people, the right people there to support you. I want to read from these cards. This is just a peaceful energy that I'm trying to give. Get all that negative out. Fall in love when you are ready, not when you're lonely. So don't fall in love if you're lonely. When you meet your soulmate, you'll feel calm, no anxiety, no um, agitation. Everything you have ever wanted is on the other side of fear. <coughs> Get that fear out of you. You are on your way to meeting your true love. If you haven't met your true love, you on your way to meeting your true love. Never give up on something you really want. Never give up on something you really want. Look at this. See all those fish bubbles she's doing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I think eight in her hair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She going for what she want. Everything you need, your courage, strength, compassion, and love. Everything you need is already within. Okay, let me give you some more messages from the divine. Since I have plenty of time on the clock, it's only 20 minutes. And let's see. Questions I wanted to ask the universe. I have some questions down. These are my answer angel cards. And the question is, why did he or she leave universe? Why did he or she leave? We want to know why this person left. All right. Perfect timing is what the divine said. Why did this person leave? Perfect timing. So it must have been a perfect timing for them to leave. Universe, is this relationship leading to marriage? Ooh. Is this relationship leading to marriage? Choose a new direction other than marriage. Helpful people. So people are going to help you move forward. Your friends, your family going to help you move forward. So the relationship is not leading to marriage. The universe wants you to choose a new direction and get help from your friends. Okay. Is anyone pregnant? Universe, tell us, is anybody pregnant behind our viewers back? A year from now. So no one might not be pregnant, but when you guys separate, or if you guys are not in a relationship a year from now. And if you guys in a relationship and you and you could be getting pregnant a year from now. One year from now. You could be getting pregnant or somebody that you guys broke up with could be getting somebody else pregnant within a year. 
but somebody gonna have a baby within a year. All right. Let's see what the share cards have to say. I'm only going to pull four cards, several cards. These cards can be all my greatest. The light seer. So let's see what the light seer have to say. Universe. Ace of Wands, which is really great. Fire energy. Universe, give us some more information. All right. These fell out. The Three of Wands, another fire energy. The King of Wands, another fire energy. God damn, y'all. Ace of Pentacles, earth energy. Queen of Cups, water Page of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, water, the Ace of Swords, ear. So somebody, look at this, the Ace of Wands, fire, deep burning fire. Two of Wands, partner up, going on an adventure, leaving behind. You could be leaving your village, your people behind. The King of Wands, fire energy. Look at the lion. Relationship, love, marriage. So someone is thinking, someone is leaving. The King of Wands is standing up. He's facing whatever come his way. And then you have the Ace of Swords. What she have in these called Mathematic, the Infinity. You see the Messenger, which is the bird. Steps, climbing, elevation. Brain. As you see the steps, they climb it all the way up. Elevation, power, thought, enlightened inside. Someone in a dark hole, the Five of Cups, sinking. Drama, variation, but she got a basket full of life. But all this darkness, this dark hole. And then the Queen of Cups. Emotionally passionate, loving, caring mother. The Page of Pentacles. Small offer, small gift. And then the Ace of Pentacles. You receive everything you want. Everything you ever wanted, you got it. Page of Pentacle to an Ace of Pentacle. This means you and your your power. This means you financially straight. You're loved by people. People um, nurture. People care about you. Um, you have good friends and family. You have a great support team. People who support you and love you. Um, you receiving gifts, flowers, love. And then this one, the queen, perfect. But this one is like, like some darkness, the snakes and shit. This the this card remind me of the snakes around you. The ace of swords, you and your high element, willing to cut whatever don't serve you any purpose, willing to cut these snakes off. The person who holding these secrets, willing to cut their asses off. The king, it could be a king. These are the only signs. Water, but mostly I'm getting that fire energy. That fire, the air. A cups for water, because that's what's been coming out. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave this reading alone. 
This page of Pentacles is going to be coming in with messages, but they're going to be small offers. It's not going to be the kind of offer you look for from a king. But he went from that status to a king energy. So this person is in a king energy. Ace of Wands. It could be a fucking king of fire. It could be a Sagittarius, a Aries, or a Leo. Virgo. This is your reading. That's the energy I'm getting. The air is the only queen that's cutting shit out. This could be your energy. Air could be, you could be having the air energy. You know, the ace of swords, the queen of swords, that's energy. And then you have the fire is like, could be energy too. You could be taking on the fire energy too. The, the pinnacles, the wands, you know, the fire energy. You see that Leo? Look at that, that lion right there. Could be taking on the lion energy. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave this at that. The Queen of Cups, emotion, love, passionate, nurturing. And that's water energy, which is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right, you guys, I'm going to end this reading. I hope you guys got some messages today. If you did, hit a like and subscribe. Come join us. And if you already um, subscribing, hit a like. Welcome and thank you very much. I love you guys. And I hope to see you tomorrow or maybe later on today. It depends if I have any free time. But I have to do a lot of running. I got doctor's appointments. I got to go do a lot of tests. And God knows. No, I ain't giving them no dirty urine. Hell no. Anyway, you guys have a good one, and I'll catch you later.